Thank you for joining this quick getting started screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. In this video, we're going to review the Einstein Engagement Scoring Dashboard and run through some examples on how to send personalized emails based on an engaged audience. We will navigate to Einstein Engagement Scoring, and here we can see different tiles. Let's get started with the engaged audience at the very top under Einstein Engagement Scoring for email. Engaged audiences are audiences that have been sent to, opened, clicked, or purchased in the past 90 days. You can see the audience in the data extension called Einstein underscore MC underscore predictive underscore scores. We will review this data extension later in the video. In the email engagement prediction section, we can see that subscribers are grouped in segments to be targeted by marketers. If we look closely, we can see different personas, such as win back slash dormant, which show the subscribers that are least likely or less likely to open or click an email. Next to win back slash dormant, we see window shoppers, which are subscribers that will more likely open an email, but won't click any link in the email. The selective subscribers are subscribers that don't open many emails. However, each time they do open an email, their engagement with the email is high, meaning that they are most or more likely to click. The last persona is loyalist. They are your loyal customers and are more or most likely to open and engage with your emails. On this same dashboard, we can see four different tiles, subscriber retention prediction, email open prediction, email click prediction, and web conversion prediction. Each tile will provide a prediction for the next 14 days. Let's look at subscriber retention prediction. This section will show you the average likelihood for a subscriber to stay subscribed. Let's click on view details. Here we can see the threshold used to determine the audience's health. If we scroll down, we can see the top factors that will have a positive or negative impact on your subscribers remaining subscribed. Now let's click Einstein Engagement Scoring for Email to go back to the main dashboard. Email Open Predictions shows the likelihood of an engaged subscriber to open an email in the next 14 days. On the right side, you can see a trend which shows the percentage of change compared to the last run of the model. Let's click on View Details to see the factors that affect the model. Here we can see the threshold used to determine the audience's health. The Factors section displays the factors that will have an impact on the open prediction. For example, Engaged Lifetime is the number of days since a first-time user has engaged. This factor is marked as positive, so this will have a positive impact on the likelihood that the user will open an email. Let's click on Einstein Engagement Scoring for Email to go back to the main dashboard. The email click prediction displays the average likelihood for a subscriber to click on a link in the email within 14 days. If we click on View Details, we can see the factors that affect the email click prediction model. On this same page, we also see the threshold which determines the audience's health for this card. Let's click on Einstein Engagement Scoring for Email to go back to the main dashboard. The last card, Web Conversion Prediction, is the likelihood of conversion to an actual purchase. Each of these scores is stored in a data extension called Einstein underscore MC underscore predictive underscore scores. Let's navigate to predictive intelligent data. We will click on Audience Builder, then Contact Builder, then Predictive Intelligent Data. The Einstein MC Predictive Scores data extension contains all the scores of your engaged audience and can be very useful for segmentation or to create SQL queries you can use to send personalized emails. Journey Builder allows you to use this scoring to create personalized journeys using the scoring split. Let's navigate to Journey Builder. We'll click Create New Journey. From there, click Build. We'll drag the scoring split activity from the left side to the main area. and then choose the persona we're targeting. In this example, we want to engage with customers based on their likelihood to open the email. We will select the split option, Open Likelihood.
Then we will select the path we want to add to the journey activity. And then click Done. The scoring split is now set up. We're now ready to use Einstein Engagement Scoring to send great personalized email to our customers. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.